Hi there, it's Tim, and today I'm gonna to share with you the best scooters for college. I've reviewed over 50 scooters in the last two years, so I've got lots of information. I've ridden so many different styles, big, small, fast, and on this long weekend, it happens to be the sort of Independence Day long weekend for the US or Canada Day long weekend if you're Canadian. Um, so there's nobody around this university. And in fact, this university is the one that my daughter is actually currently going to. Electric scooters make an awful lot of sense. And what I'm gonna share with you is the very first one. It's a budget scooter. This is by new, it's the KQI3 Pro. It's a pretty reasonably priced scooter. Um, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, it's not humongous, but it's, it's, a, it's bigger than the other one I'm gonna recommend. Uh, it folds down really nice and easy. Super easy for getting around classes. It's a little bit heavier as well, but that's what you're gonna get with a budget scooter. But what it is, it's comfortable. It's got a great big deck. And it'll get you from campus and off campus really simply and easily. Love this little scooter, and that's why I'm recommending this as the budget college scooter. Coming over here now, I'm gonna share with you what I think is the best college scooter available, and that is the U-Scooters Booster V. Why is it the best? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, it folds up really, really small. Let me show you how small. Both of the handles fold in, they collapse. The actual stem itself, is will reduce and whoop, just make sure that kick stands up and it just drops into place and it's ready to go and it's super light it's about 24 pounds or just under 24 pounds so you can carry this into class stick it on our desk uh, bring it up to your dorm room what have you really easy plus it's really quick it goes about 40 kilometers an hour or about 25 miles an hour at the top speed so it'll get you on and off campus really, really fast however if you're a bigger guy then U scooter actually produces a second scooter and this is called the gt sport it's got a slightly bigger battery and a slightly bigger motor which is going to help propel somebody who's a little bit larger around campus or perhaps you've got a little bit longer commute to get to campus one of the biggest differences between the budget scooter here, which has air filled tires and the U-Scooter GT Sport and the Booster V, they have solid tires. So you're never gonna get flat. As a father whose uh, daughter is actually attending this particular college, I can share with you, it's very expensive. And I know you're looking for a really good deal. And so if that's the case, the new is gonna be a terrific scooter. It's just a little bit bigger, that's all. If you can afford it, then I highly recommend the Booster V. Now, if you are interested, I've got a whack of videos I've reviewed, including these scooters. I'm gonna link them up here. I'm also gonna link to them in the show notes down below.